Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. I am currently in Germany, even though I am not at my regular starting point. I am here, I am here, I'm standing on the ground of Germany, yeah. And it also means, you guessed it right, it is time for a top speed range test with this car, the NEO ET7. The flagship of the car brand NEO from China that can do battery swapping. This car can also do battery swapping. Yes, I am fast charging because I am not at a battery swap station, as you can see, but it can do it, but I'm not doing it at the moment. Anyway, the battery that you can swap in this car is 100 kilowatt hours big. Yes, this car has a battery pack of 100 kilowatt hours, and that is, that is a lot. It also has a drag coefficient of 0.2. 0.208, yeah, 0 0.208, and that is really low. So I expect this car to be really efficient, and I expect this car to go pretty far on one state of charge while driving top speed. And the top speed is 200 kilometers an hour. Normally, a car can do its top speed for an hour, and then the battery is empty. But I do expect that this car can do more than 200 kilometers while driving 200 kilometers an hour. But there's only one way to find out. The car is charging up. I will charge. That is a big pickup with a diesel, yep. The car is charging up. I will charge to 70, 80%. Um, and then I will go, yeah. The weather, is it important for 200 kilometers an hour? Not really, but it is 25 degrees outside and there is some wind, but hey, you have headwind and you have tailwind, so that will compensate. Again, the car is charging up and then let's go. Alrighty, it is time for the tests of all tests. The top speed range test. And I treated myself some coffee because trust me, when you drive 200 kilometers an hour, you have to be alert at all times. And before this test, I did the 130 kilometers per hour test. And on purpose, I did that test before this test, because even though this is a quiet highway, it is, it is 8.30 at the moment in the evening. Um, hopefully it is a bit more quiet than it was two hours ago. It probably is. It probably is at 8.30. But I'm doing it right now and not late in the evening, because as you can see, there is still daylight. And well, that is a safety feature. I can tell you that it is better to do this shit with daylight. So the Autobahn is clear, power, I don't have the massive acceleration on, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing 140, 50, 60, um, 70, it's not going really quickly anymore. Maybe this is because I have the less aggressive acceleration on. Uh, there it goes and 200 kilometers an hour and it stops it is limited to 200 kilometers an hour you can tell that the car is insanely stable of course it's getting a bit noisy in here but it's still pretty okay actually oh my god this car is stable at these speeds it is impressive it is really impressive anyway i will be doing this for a while probably an hour or so maybe a bit less and then you will see the results I will give you an update in between. It's always a bit nervous when people are driving here and there because I'm afraid they're going to the left. And then you have to brake really hard. Holy crap. Is he stopping? Yes, he's stopping because he is seeing I'm going like a maniac. Germans are like that. Germans are like that. Anyway, I will do, keep doing this with sweaty hands a little bit, but I will keep doing this. There are literally thousands of bugs on my windscreen. Holy crap. And my conclusion is... Why is this car beeping at me? Anyway, my conclusion is, is that this car cannot do 200 kilometers while driving top speed. No, 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 no. It's more 180 to 170 because I have done 67 kilometers. Am I doing it right still? Yes. I've done 67, 68 kilometers and I have used 35% on that 68 kilometers well maybe yeah maybe 200 just shy of 200 and then the rule still counts i mean all cars that i test can do one hour at its top speed and then the battery is empty so this car 
200 kilometers an hour, you can drive 200 kilometers while driving top speed. It's a rule, and I don't know why. It's just a thing. I hope the gas station has something to clean my windscreen when I'm back, because holy crap, it's nasty. Anyway, uh, focus, yeah, it's only 25 minutes back. Only 25 minutes. I'm here, and power! There is someone coming on the highway, but I am quicker. Yes, I am quicker. 150 already, 60. 70, 80, above the 175, it goes a bit slower. Maybe that is because I don't have the full power mode on. Because I find the car a bit too nervous then. But anyway, I'm driving 200, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm going to yell, because that's what I do when I hear more noise. Yeah. No, 200 kilometers, yeah, well, again, maybe, maybe. Anyway, that's it. Uh, update will be at the charger, yeah. What am I doing? Why am I not driving 200 kilometers an hour? Well, that is because out of nowhere I heard a clunk and then a whole lot of error messages appeared here in front of me. And it basically said there is a fault with the rear motor. So, or it is overheated or it is broken or it is a system fault. And hopefully when I get out, I lock the car I leave it there for a few minutes and get in again. Everything is restored, but I got no regen or barely any regen. Uh, I got less power. Uh, my cruise control isn't working. So yeah, there is something wrong with this car at the moment. It does still drive though. Do I have regen? I don't have regen. Not at all. Yeah, a little bit. I do, And I do have the physical brakes, luckily. But yeah, it is not safe to drive 200 kilometers an hour at the moment. So yeah, maybe I should have, have taken this exit because it's still 40 kilometers to my starting point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. I, want, I was hoping to get a gas station here so I can also clean my windscreen because I tried to use my wipers and of course it got worse. Yeah, this is I think the end of the test. There is a parking, uh, parking place, rest place up here. So let's stop there for a moment and then see uh, see what see what's happening all right here are all the faults that are currently registered in this car yeah this is not good there's one critical fault regenerative braking limited and six normal faults electric power steering fault rear motor system fault powertrain error electric stability program fault auto hold fault and hill start assist fault yeah i will get out and get in and hopefully some things are restored and otherwise I will probably just drive to my starting point which is 40 kilometers away and get out of get out of the car there because well at least there is something else than truck drivers uh yeah and then we will see so this is different for you I am not sitting inside the car to give you the result but I am sitting here outside in the open air with all my stuff here in this lovely environment no it is actually really nice outside still. It is 24 degrees Celsius at 10 in the evening. So again, it is really nice. But that is not the reason I am sitting here, no. The reason I'm sitting here is that, well, the car is standing over there at the charger and there is a distance between us. And well, that is because our relationship the past half hour has been difficult. No, 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 that is also not the reason. The car is standing there at the charger with a distance between us. And the reason for that is I want the car to go to sleep. I don't want to be cl close or near the car, so I don't want it to wake up. I want it to go to sleep, hopefully reset itself, reset all the systems, and then I can drive away without any faults in around 10 to 15 minutes. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Good news from future me. The health status of the car is perfect. At least it says it is perfect. Gone are the six, seven, eight faults. It varied a bit. So yeah, everything seems good and hopefully it stays this way while I'm going to drive soon. So yeah, I'm sitting here outside to give you the result of the top speed range test. And yes, the test was not completed 100%. So I'll have, I will give you the numbers that I wrote down very quickly when the car suddenly gave faults. Um, and well, that is the result then. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it again because I don't want 
the same thing to happen again. So I started the test with 75% state of charge and I got the faults at around 30%. So that means the car has used up to then 45%. With that 45%, it has done 85 kilometers. So you can do, according to my calculations, around 190 kilometers while driving top speed with the Neo ET7 in these conditions. But I have to admit though that when the car gave faults, I was going south, so I had tailwind. So yeah, I think the car could have done 200 kilometers while driving top speed. So that is my result, 200 kilometers while driving top speed, if you can make it, with the Neo ET7, with the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, yeah, if you have the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, you probably can do 140 to 150 kilometers while driving top speed and then your battery is empty. You know what I'm saying. Um, the consumption was around 45 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 45 to 47. And well, I think that is pretty good for driving 200 kilometers an hour. But again, this car has a drag coefficient of 0.28, which is really low. And that, is, and that is one of the reasons why. So that was the test. Even though it got a little bit wrong, but it got exciting. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.